I'm away to America. My sister Rose arranged it. I can't buy you a future. I can't buy you the kind of life you need. But you'll come see me there one day. Yes. Passport, please. Step this way. Next, please. It's a story about home and where where is home and you know what you call home. So what where's home for you? I mean Ireland will always be home for me. You know, um, I'm moving to New York next year, which is kind of mad to do the the full circle because I was born there. Then we moved back home when I was about three, and now I'm going to be you know working there next year and probably living there. Um, and I and I love it, and that is where I want to be. You know, while I'm young. Um, but I, I feel like, especially for the Irish, and for lots of people, but I know a lot of people would agree that you definitely leave a part of you behind when you leave home, you know, when you leave Ireland. So. Yeah, because it struck me like Eilish's story, like, you know, the Irish that left in the 50s and, and have done so for years before and years yeah. after to go to America. When people leave Ireland now, say, of Eilish's age, they go on a J1, like yeah. to New York. yeah. I mean, it's a totally different. Have you ever were you ever on a J one yourself? Did you ever get to do that? No. Well, I mean, I was. I had gone to America at that stage, and um, I had been working there anyway. So you, you kind I was of been there, you know, done that. I have my enough. own kind of J one, <laughs> um, but I'm also a citizen as well. So like, I can. I'm lucky. I can go there whenever I want, which is a real blessing. Um, but but yeah, I mean, it's you know, even though you can kind of say, oh, the J one is completely different. It's not. It's like it's these young people that are going away to New York City. Um, from a relatively small place and they're going there to work and they're going there to kind of like expand their horizons and meet people and whatever else. I want you to know that... I don't know what I want you to know. You are now officially a leading lady in a Hollywood romance. Is that like a, is that like a box take? Is that like a dream gig for you? The real dream with this is the fact that it's an Irish film and we're all Irish in it, mm. and so far it's doing so well. And that's, I mean, we've been pinching ourselves the whole time. However, I would like to be in a musical. Oh, that's my real dream. Okay, any particular musical? A new musical. Okay, a new yeah. musical. Well, yeah. actually, that brings us quite nicely, segues into this. Oh, does it? What is your karaoke song? Oh, what's my karaoke song? Well, we all in this room have a mutual love for We Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off by okay. Jermaine Stewart. I don't, I, I don't. It's a terrific song. Would, maybe you'll give us a bar. Are you going to sing it with me? <laughs> we don't have to take our clothes off. <laughs> To have a good time, oh no. So that's kind of how it goes initially. Um, and it explodes after that and turns into something else. But um, yeah, that's the song of the moment for me. Uh, you've got the role. I've, I've, I'm it? casting you actually, and I've given you the role in the musical. Um, so Sharon, an absolute pleasure. Uh, thanks very much for talking to Joe.ie. Thank you. Cheers. That's <laughs> us. <laughs>